Hello everyone, today we're setting course for a journey into the future. A future that pushes the boundaries of human imagination. Have you ever considered what would happen if Earth was no longer livable? And we, as a species, had to pack up and leave. This isn't just a plot of a sci-fi novel, but a question that scientists and futurists grapple with as we explore more about our universe and our place in it. So strap yourself in as we delve into the fascinating scenario of humanity's greatest voyage, escaping Earth to settle on a new habitable world. Picture a futuristic spaceship, but not just any spaceship. This one is large enough to accommodate hundreds, if not thousands of people. It's a floating city in space, a haven for human life amidst the infinite cosmos. This is the concept of a space arc or generation ship. It's not a new concept by any means, the term generation ship was first used in science fiction literature in the mid 20th century. The idea is simple yet profound. A self-sustaining spaceship that can support human life over multiple generations, enabling the colonization of distant planets. This ship wouldn't be like the shuttles or stations we currently use for space exploration. It would need to replicate the conditions on Earth as closely as possible. The ship's design might include large rotating cylinders to create artificial gravity a concept proposed by physicist Gerard K. O'Neill. Picture immense green spaces for agriculture and relaxation, housing structures, schools, hospitals, and everything else you would find in a city back on Earth. This would be a moving microcosm of our planet, a fully functional society in space. Imagine, too, the wide windows of the ship that look out onto the star-speckled blackness, where children born on board would marvel at the swirling galaxies passing by an ever-changing spectacle far surpassing any earthly landscape. This isn't mere speculation. Some scientists believe that such a ship could be our best hope for reaching habitable planets beyond our solar system, planets that would otherwise take thousands of years to reach with our current propulsion technology. So what might propel such a ship, and what might life be like aboard this gigantic vessel? Let's delve into the possibilities Getting from Earth to a distant exoplanet is no easy task. With our current technology, it would take tens of thousands of years to reach even the closest potentially habitable planet. Clearly, if our survival as a species depended on making such a journey, we would need a much faster method of travel. But what could that look like? Well, many different propulsion methods have been proposed for interstellar travel. One such proposal involves ion drives a type of engine that expels ions to create thrust. While they provide a slow initial acceleration, ion drives are incredibly efficient and can reach much higher speeds than traditional chemical rockets over long distances. Another promising candidate is the concept of a nuclear propulsion system. One variant of this, known as Project Orion, proposed the idea of propelling a ship using a series of nuclear explosions However, the inherent risks and potential for catastrophic failure have kept such concepts mostly confined to the drawing board. Yet another exciting concept comes straight out of the world of science fiction, the warp drive. While it still remains firmly in the realm of theory, some physicists have suggested that it might be possible to bend space-time in such a way that a ship could jump across vast distances almost instantaneously. Regardless of the method, the propulsion system of our hypothetical space arc would need to be incredibly efficient, reliable, and capable of sustaining a voyage that could potentially last hundreds or even thousands of years. But assuming we've got our ship moving, what would life be like for the generations of humans born and raised aboard the space arc? Let's imagine. So, we've built our spaceship, we've propelled it out of Earth's atmosphere, and now we're on our way to a new world. But what happens next? What would life on board this space arc look like? First, we need to consider that this is no ordinary journey. The trip could potentially take multiple generations to complete, meaning that some of those on board would be born, live and die without ever setting foot on a planet. This would necessitate a complete rethinking of our societal structures and norms. The spaceship would essentially be a self-contained world, needing to recycle and renew its resources constantly to sustain life. That means every inch of the ship would have to be designed with efficiency in mind. Uh, hydroponic farms could produce food, water could be recycled, and energy could be generated from the nuclear propulsion system, or perhaps through a Dyson sphere if we're getting ambitious. 
Life would also need to be structured to combat the psychological challenges of living in confined spaces for extended periods. There would need to be ample recreational facilities and programs to promote mental well-being. Education would also be crucial as each generation would need to learn the skills necessary to maintain the ship and its systems, but it wouldn't all be about survival. The ship could also have digital archives containing the collective knowledge and culture of humanity, so even as new generations grow and develop in the confines of their space-borne home, they would still be connected to their roots on Earth. All of this points to a dramatic shift in the way humans live and interact. With a population confined to a single vessel for multiple generations, society on board our space arc would likely evolve in ways that we can barely imagine. So we've designed our spaceship, equipped it with cutting-edge propulsion and planned for a sustainable life on board. But how would this drastic change in lifestyle affect our society and our way of life? Well, living on a generation spaceship is likely to result in significant societal changes. With the entire population confined to a single vessel, our existing structures of countries and borders would become obsolete. Instead, the ship might be divided into zones or departments, each with its own function and responsibilities creating a new sort of division and social structure. With finite resources, the concept of economy would also need to be drastically reimagined. Instead of wealth being defined by money or material possessions, it might be determined by access to certain privileges, or based on one's contribution to the ship's operations and maintenance. Our governance systems would also likely evolve. In such a contained environment, every action has a direct impact on the community, making cooperation and consensus building paramount. We might see new forms of democracy emerge, optimized for the specific challenges of spaceborne society. Furthermore, the fixed population aboard the spaceship would require strict population control measures, family units and relationships could transform, and new norms and cultural practices might evolve in response to these unique circumstances. Also, the psychological impact of living in a completely human-constructed environment, isolated from the natural world, could prompt a shift in our cultural and artistic expression. Spaceborne generations might develop new forms of art and music, drawing inspiration from their unique experiences and environment. Finally, the shared mission of survival and the constant reminder of our fragile existence could foster a profound sense of unity and shared purpose among the ship's inhabitants on this journey. Humanity might finally become truly global, in a sense far deeper than anything we've experienced before. And all of this begs the question, would we still be the same humans who once lived on Earth, or would this new lifestyle create something entirely new? A new way of being, a new definition of human. Now let's imagine, generations have passed and our spaceship finally approaches its destination. A potentially habitable planet, a distant promise turned into reality. How would we go about settling on a completely alien world? The initial task would be to survey the new world, using a combination of sophisticated onboard instruments and drones to assess its viability for human habitation. These would examine the planet's atmospheric composition, gravity, temperature, presence of water, and any potential biological life forms. But even after the green light is given, there is the daunting task of setting foot on a completely new world. The first settlers, most likely a group of highly trained specialists, would need to construct an initial base, possibly using resources harvested from the new world itself. This could involve in-situ resource utilization technologies, such as 3D printing habitats using local materials, or establishing hydroponic systems for agriculture. Settling a new planet might also mean dealing with an environment significantly different from Earth's. The planet's gravity might be stronger or weaker, the days and years might be longer or shorter, the climate harsher. Human bodies evolved over millions of years for life on Earth might have to adapt to these new conditions, possibly leading to physical changes over generations. Once a stable base is established, the remaining population could gradually descend from the spaceship to populate the new world. As the settlers spread out, they may even form distinct communities each adapting to their particular environment in unique ways. Culturally, the settlers may carry forward traditions from the ship, but also develop new ones influenced by their novel surroundings. A new chapter of human history would thus begin with its roots in the spaceship that carried its ancestors across the interstellar void. 
and as our new home fills with the hustle and bustle of human activity, we'd look back at the empty spaceship, the cradle of several generations, a silent witness to the incredible journey that took humanity from a distant blue dot to this strange new world. Well, there we have it, an epic journey across generations and the cosmos, aboard a spaceship built as humanity's last hope. This may sound like science fiction today, but who knows? As our knowledge and technology continue to expand, such a future could be within our reach. We've seen how our spaceship might be designed, how life would be on board, and the societal changes that might occur. Then, finally, the arrival, a new home, an alien world turned into a human habitat. It's a sobering, awe-inspiring thought of what our future could hold. And as always, thanks for watching and keep pondering these fascinating possibilities because curiosity fuels our journey, both on Earth and beyond. And as always, thanks for watching.